Good day guys! So today, we will be discussing about how to generate a balance sheet on SAP Business One. So on month end or at year end, it is important that we need to have a financial statement or financial position as it is needed by the management and as well as the owners. Alright. So in order to generate a quick report of uh, the balances in SAP, we need to go now to the financials menu on SAP. Okay, and then after that, we can go to the financial reports subfolder, and then after clicking that, we can now navigate to the financial subfolder. And then we can now locate again the needed menu which is the balance sheet okay after clicking the balance sheet we can now select the needed parameters that we need on our report for example we need right now a february 28 2022 report so we can just uh, state here and the month end or the needed date okay so there are instances that there are balances with zero so maybe we just want to determine if we really need that in the report for example we just want to understand whether this particular account is zero on that month but there is a uh, balance last month so maybe we can just add that on the report or maybe if we just don't need this then we just then we can just unclick this button so that the GL accounts with zero balances will not be included in the report. And then if we have journal vouchers or those general ent journal entries that are not yet permanently posted, then we can just add this in the report. Okay. So on this criteria, there is also a, uh, a type of report. Maybe we need an annual report or a quarterly report or just a monthly report or a periodic report. So for our purpose, we I will just click on the monthly report. Okay. And then if we are finished with the, our selection criteria, then we can now click the OK button. We start generating the needed balance sheet. Okay. Okay. So right now, as you can see, it is under level 5, but if we can click this on level 1, we can see the very big picture of how our financial position is as of February 20, 2022. So on this report, it states that we have an asset of 425,893,265 in currency. And that, of course, it equates to the total liabilities and total capital and reserves, which is equal to that amount. Okay. So, if you need a report which is so that we can analyze what really happened on this amount, so that we can see the movement, so we need to generate a, a higher level report. For example, we can now click on the level 10 so that we can see the composition of each GL accounts. So for example, we can now see that the balance of BBO is on 116,040,822.36 centavos. Okay. So, in order for us to have a uh, clean report, you can just hide the titles and then generate it on an Excel file. So, generating it on an Excel file can be done on different formats. For example, we can separate the columns of GL account and GL name so that we can uh, do some formula later in Excel. And then after that, we can now choose where folder we want to save the file. Of course, and then we, we will name it according to what you, the name we wants. And then convert the file into a uh, Microsoft Excel format. Okay. And then another step is, of course, uh, Exporting the currency symbol for this purpose, uh, we can just click on the no and then after that we can now click the OK so that we can see 
the Excel file that will be generated by SAP. Okay, and here we are now on this report. So as you can see, the, the column C and E reflects the uh, the balance as of January 31, 2022 and February 28, 2022. So as you can see, we have now the complete uh, balance sheet which includes the specific GL accounts, BDO, Union Bank, Revolving Fund, Accounts Receivable, Uniforms, Advances, and then many more. Okay, so it is uh, really helpful that we have this report so that we can check and review the balance sheet. Okay, I think this is all for today guys. So, let's check on the next tutorial. Thank you!